The general director of the World Intellectual Property Organization also earlier this year said that innovation policy is so important that it cannot be political, but I am happy to see that uh, the members of this committee do not agree. Horizon 2020, we are defending um, open access, open access for uh, research results publication and open access of research data. Uh, this is very important that uh, when the European citizen in um, put his money into uh, research, well, the, the results of this research should be freely available. Uh, in those cases where technical results become covered by patents, fair and reasonable licensing terms granted on a non-exclusive basis must apply when it comes to results that come from public funding. Fair and reasonable terms include royalty-free conditions. There has been some proposals to delete royalty-free conditions from fair and reasonable. That would be a big mistake. And I think the key issue is research data um, cannot be reserved for exclusive use in such a way that it ends up being forgotten and lost. That is not a good use of public money. On the horizon 2020, we're a bit concerned that uh, the budget cuttings proposed uh, recently by the member states hit substantially um, the research uh, innovation and programs. And um, we don't like that. Uh, it will hit also the infrastructures, uh, including the internet infrastructures, and we don't like that also. How is this going to affect the open access in Sweden? Well, we don't know if there will be budget cuts, but if you look at the council, it's, it's quite likely that they will want to reduce uh, the research part of Horizon 2020. Uh, for Sweden, I don't think it will be that much of an impact. Uh, and in general, Sweden is very progressive when it comes to open access. Almost all big uh, funders of research in Sweden uh, demand open access, and if they don't demand, they promote open access. So, I and Philip Lambert from Grannan Gruppen have three amendments that strengthen open access in Horizon 2020. They talk about open access to data, and they talk about open access to publications, and additionally, we have amendments that talk about the importance of having royalty-free licensing, so when you license without having to pay. Uh, we believe that uh, access to data uh, is really important. What I see is that uh, there are cases of projects, I see one on diabetes, where uh, institutions such as MIT, Harvard, and Novartis, uh, and Lund University are making uh, in, in that field all their results and data available because they believe it will speed up innovation. So we would be on the bold side uh, on the open access. Uh, let's see where we can uh, uh, get. I do believe that there's there's room for an agreement, but we would like this agreement to be on the boldest side uh, uh, possible. And as uh, Pope John Paul II said, don't be afraid. And don't look back to what I've done before. I do regret that my heart was blind for so long with you. So this is where Camilla Borussia sits, the policy advisor. Hey Julian, yeah. have you heard anything from Camilla lately about the Horizon 2020 shadow negotiations on open access? Um, not yet. Cutting, right? Yes, yeah, I think. Yeah. So the. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. 
falling. You know that the elevator might seem that it's not moving because it's showing six. No, but you see that Bob is there. No, don't move. I will not move. Rolling. <laughs> okay. Hey. Okay. Oh, <laughs>